Welcome back to the shop, guys. I'm Chris with M7 Metalworks. I've got yet another vise in the shop. Um, now this one you've probably seen, if you've watched some of my videos, you may have seen this one in the past. I've talked about it a little bit. This is the, um, the vise that um, I looked at trading a buddy of mine for um, this little 50 pound Fisher Norris anvil. And so I am gonna make that swap, not because it's the best deal, um, I realize that the vise is um, probably worth a bit more than this little anvil, particularly because of the break on the back. But I like the little anvil. Fisher Norse is my favorite of anvils, um, my favorite maker of anvils. And, um, you know, I may look to make this a future project and, and just, um, you know, do a little welding on the corners here and then patch up this little piece on the back. Uh, but either, even, even not doing that, it's still a very usable, serviceable anvil. And it's in good condition other than those few little minor things. He's also given me this little um, vise. It says it's made in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Um, Modern Grinder Manufacturing Company, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. It says M52 and a half. Um, it's a neat little vise. It's actually, for what it is, it's extremely good quality. The jaws come together just near perfectly. Um, it functions just flawlessly. Of course, he's greased it up, and so it's got a little bit too much grease in there now. But he asked me, he gave me just a little uh, little hand sand blaster that I'll be able to use for some small parts um, here and there. He asked me if I would um, paint this up when I'm painting this red um, so that he's got the two vices looking exactly the same in color. And so that's very little effort. Um, it won't take much um, work to clean that off and tape it up and paint it. So, uh, but this is really the main project. This is a um, Charles Parker Company, Meriden, Connecticut. It is a number 974 vise. It's a nice little vise. It's got the original um, wrench on the side here. Um, it's a number two wrench. I think it's number two. Yeah, number two wrench. And uh, it's in really good condition. This vise is um, not perfect. There's a few issues. The jaws are not perfectly even when they come together, and I'm gonna try to uh, remedy that. I think probably what's happened is somebody's pulled these vise jaws off in the past and probably switched them. Um, that's what I think has probably happened. We're gonna find out because I'm gonna switch them and see if that helps. Um, it looks like a couple roll pins um, are holding each jaw on, so we'll knock those out. The uh, checker pattern, the cross-checking on the jaws, it looks to be really good condition. Everything about the vise is in really good shape. It's extremely heavy duty. These Charles Parkers, I love them. If it weren't for the reed vise that I, um, <coughs> excuse me, if it weren't for the reed vise that I um, restored um, a few weeks back, the Charles Parker vices um, are my favorites. Um, the reed vise, just the quality and precision is really high. And I'll try to leave a link right up here uh, um, for you on that reed vise. And that way, just click up here. And um, if you want to view that um, restoration of that reed, I think it's a 104 and a half R. Um, really good vise. You'll love it if you love those um, old vices. So, anyways, first things first, got to get the um, little nut or bolt off of here. So I'll use a screwdriver to get that. We'll get the lead screw out, um, take out the nut, clean all the interior of this thing up, get the base off of this, <clears throat> and um, get everything apart. And then I'll get to wire wheeling on it, and um, we'll prime it, paint it, and um, re-lube everything, put it all back together, and we'll get it to my buddy. And then uh, this one here I'll be doing off and on um, throughout the project as well. But I won't probably video too much of this little one here. Um, but I will be um, kind of restoring this one as well right alongside this little Parker 974. So, guys, uh, I hope you um, enjoy the video. Um, stay tuned and let's get cracking.
Well, we've got it painted up now. Um, just a few things of note. So I did have to weld this. I'm not sure how that had cracked. Let me get that a little better. I had to weld this. Um, I just used the TIG welder. the shim stock sitting in like this. Oops. From your perspective, but now that's a lot more even. Well guys, you remember what this vice looked like before and now the after. So it turned out pretty good. I used that Napa paint. It seemed to be um, flow pretty well. I did the lettering on, in black. I think it turned out pretty nice. The black contrasts pretty well with the red. That's my daughter Daria. Just getting into the camera view a little bit. Look at the cross checking on those jaws. Really, really nice. Guys, if you like the video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. And we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.